Hello everyone, my name is Ray Laser and welcome back to Ring of Fates. Sorry about the two week delay, but we're finally here and we're gonna be doing Rayla Sayel Pass today. A quick note is that I equipped the Flower Barrets because I believe this is the real headwear that's supposed to go with the martial arts gi. With that, let's go buy some Magisites and stock up on that stuff before we go do our uh, quest, adventure, whatever else you want to call it. But then, we're gonna go to Real Sayel, into the past. And we're going to be rematching against a boss in the past. Very strange, isn't it? So, this can either be interpreted as Ray Sayel stumbled and fell into the center, or it's just chilling at the top right side. Who knows? Let's go on in. Right away, we start off on the far end of the bridge, and if you go backwards, you'll notice the whole bridge is completely fixed, and you can't actually leave. Instead, you'll have to take the portal. You'll also notice the whole area isn't flooded anymore, so you can actually access this lower platform to get at stuff like a bunch of money. So let's go after the stuff and take a look at the stuff that's hanging around Rayla Sayel Pass before we go inside the building itself. Alright, there should be two chests hanging at the top, I believe, and two chests hanging at the bottom, so we'll take a quick look, do a spin around the whole area. And I believe what I want to do is actually land on this bottom area first to get at this chest. And then move up ahead so I can grab the second chest, which should be nearly there. We're going to have to take the stairs up first. There you are. Alright, let's double jump on up here. And crack open a Petai Emerald. Fantastic. Now, there's nothing on top of the roof. It's completely empty. And there's not even a barrel up here. So, you don't have to worry about any roof enemies. Instead, we can just go straight on in. Now, this first area will require you to kill all the enemies on the map. And that's because, uh, well, it's the past. So all the switches, traps, and puzzles are working again. What you want to do is eliminate these two moves on the first two sides of this area first. I recommend if you're a Selkie to use a charge attack, a super charge attack as I'll call it. On the second, or in the center area, which contains a giant robot or an oversized electrical plug, depending on how you want to look at it. And by using the super attack, it's a lot fa it makes it a lot faster to kill these enemies, so... There we go, we got the center enemy down. Then on the outer rim are two more uh, turtle enemies, so... Let's take care of them, and then we'll be able to activate the switch. So let's grab that potion real quick, move in here. Gonna wait for it to spawn first, there we go. Get a nice stun attack, and there we are. With that... It finally spawns in, so we're gonna need a fire magic site, which is why this turtle monster has some. Throw this down here, activate it, and this will lower the platform to go into the main area. And this will reveal quite a bit. Not only are there a bunch of chests here, but this whole area isn't flooded anymore, which means we can use the elevator. Not on this floor, though. So let's check the left and right sides first, since that's the big difference between Rayla Sayel past and uh, Rayla Sayel today, so to say. We're not doing it today though, technically, so it's a little strange. Anyways, you'll notice on the left side, one, there's a giant electrical plug enemy. But over here, there is no doorway or opening. And that's because that was not actually supposed to be a doorway, but a hole that was drilled or created or something happened in this area. Also, we got a level up. Nothing too much to worry about right now. Just fine, hopefully we will stay on track for level ups, because the next area we're going into is the Crystal Temple, so that's going to be a bit of a hard one. Let's grab the stuff here, and similar to this side, the other side also doesn't have an opening. The entrance is actually something below it, and you'll find out about that real shortly. As you can see, it's just, just a block looking thing, really. It seems a little bit out of place, but it's just a tile, nothing too much to worry about. Unlike the left side that we just checked out, however, uh, this area will have two thunder bomb enemies here, so make sure you have a charge attack and be prepared to deal with these guys. So there's our first one, and the other guy spawns on the other end of this, as you can see here. We will eventually climb up here, or not. Sure, I'm just gonna let you cast your spell first, just so I don't get shocked. There we are. And we've got a perfect stun on it, and now it's down. Great. 
There is no reward for killing all the enemies on this map, just to quickly note that, so don't need to do this if you don't want to. Let's go after another one of these robots though, and there are plenty of these guys in Rayless IO Pass, so be careful. There we go, got a nice stun, and we'll be able to do enough damage that it never got a chance to hit us. Great. Grab the steel cloth, and is there a barrel here? No, there isn't. Alright, we can move down here and deal with another enemy real quick. But this area is going to explain a feature that I think every one of us has already known about. And that is, if you drop a magicite into the water, it will activate, as you can see. Whoops, fell in there. There we go. So, by activating this target, we can drop a thunder magicite down and activate the switch, lowering the water levels. So let's push this block over here so we can get across. Something we don't actually need to do as a selkie, but we're going for the completion thing. And we're going to stand here because this switch is temporary, and once it deactivates, the water level will re-rise. So, sit here and wait. Some of these switches, however, aren't temporary and will actually lower the water level permanently. So don't worry too much about that. There we go, and we're going to enter our first safe area right by a working elevator. Before we go anywhere though, there is a Moogle back here, which we can talk to for a stamp. And we aren't interested in playing Blazing Caravan, so we'll just leave that. Activate this box, or this barrel here, to get an extra two Magicites. And we'll be able to get our checkpoint and push a Command Rod in. Now, the main goal of Rayless IL Pass is to push all the control rods in, and every control rod you push in will allow you to lower the water level once. Your goal is to lower it to the very bottom where the boss is. This is a, this can be a bypass, so to say, here and there with the speedrun tactics, but we'll be worrying about that later. Now, let's take care of the Sahagin so I won't have to worry about this ever again, but it appears I'm frozen in place, so please don't kill me. Uh... That does not bode well for me. I'm gonna switch to my Cure Magicites Why? Wait, there we go. And then we'll take care of you. Once again, much safer compared to uh, fighting on land. It just makes it a little bit harder to grab stuff. Can I, can I get that other item? The water level shouldn't be too low for me to not be able to reach it. Or it is. Oh well. Now, we can't access this right side first, but I did want to show it off. You have a bear, uh, box right here. But we can't reach out to the other end, so it looks like we're going to have to activate some sort of switch or lower the water level first, and that's exactly what we're going to do by moving to the left side. If we hop up here, we can get our first permanent upgrade, a raise pocket. Now you can only access this pocket if you're playing as a Selkie or with multiple players, but of course you can use Magicite stacking to get up uh, to the top if you're playing by yourself. There's another thing very similar to that up ahead, so there are two sets of raised matter sites in this area, or raised pockets in Rayla Sayal Past, and that's one of two. I'm gonna split them apart because they're a little bit special, and I'm gonna have to sink because I can't double jump in the water. There we go, let's move right on ahead. And we will have to deal with a few turtles up ahead with a few monsters here and there. Nothing too much to worry about. Rayla Sayo Pass is fairly straightforward at the first little bit, but it might get a little bit confusing here and there if you're busy trying to jump to areas you're not supposed to get at yet, or if you ride the elevator all the way up or down for no apparent reason. Anyways, let's push this control rod in, and this will allow us to lower the water level once, as you can see. Now, we're not gonna hop off this area first. Uh, you can do this, but we're not going to. Instead, going back outside will allow us to look and see there's a box over there. Now, if we push this box in, it will allow us to... If we can push it in anytime soon... Activate a platform. There we are. Now, what we want to do is circle back around and re-raise the water level. And that way we'll be able to actually use the box and the platform we just activated. But before we do that, you can do a single jump off the corner and grab this scroll real quick. A relic weapon, not something we really need as a selkie, but something worth to consider. Now you can get over there with double jumping, and you can get over there with single jumping as I've demonstrated. Although it might be a little hard. I'm gonna avoid all these moves here. And basically, climb all the way around here once more in order to increase the water level. Which I can do this by going over here and jumping straight down. There we are. Now then. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Silly me. Hold on. 
Ah, oh, what do I do now? Okay, you know what? We're gonna be fine. There should be an elevator. There we go. Alright, never mind. We're all on track. Let's move the water level up. Sorry about that. And take the door. Now we can use the platform in the box we just activated. Got a little confused there. I always do. Alright, let's hop here. And right on over. Please don't hit me, Bubble. Oh, okay. Well, we just got slowed. Nothing to worry about, though. Uh, this thing, however, is when we're slowed. So let's just do a little mosey on around. Get a little bit of damage. We didn't manage to stun it, but that's okay. And whenever it uses that skill, it lowers the damage you can deal to it. And we're in a little bit of some trouble. So I'm going to heal up just in case. Let you attack and then finish you off. There we go. Now let's wait for this platform to show up. Anytime soon, there we go. Up right on it, ride it straight across. And before we get off, I want to prepare another great charge attack because there's another robot hanging off on this end. There we go, we managed to get all the hits on so it managed to get stunned and we can take it out really quickly. Let's push in this command rod and this will lower the water level on this map once more. And it will allow us to access a little bit more, I, I guess. Yeah, a few more things. So let's just drop off right here where the box was. We can drop down here now in order to access what I believe is a mithril harness or not. I guess that chest is randomized. We got a black outfit. All right. Don't think we'll be crafting anything involving that yet unless we find the headgear for it. Otherwise, let's just get away from that Sahagin fin. Please don't kill me. This is going so well so far. I, I really don't want you to do this to me. Great, I'm leaving. See you later. Frost, please don't kill me. Mm -mm. This is... Oh, this is drawing out the death. Alright, I don't want to move too far in case another enemy spawns. But, uh, looks like we narrowly avoided death there by... About, what, 8 points of health? Not a very good sign. Let's take care of you quickly so you won't cause me any more grief. Anyways, let's move right on ahead here, and this is where we'll be able to access the second set of chests. And if you don't know where this is, I'll just show you in a quick second. If we jump on top of one of these chests, you can see this is where we could access the relic weapon from earlier. Anyways, we're supposed to be down here, so let's move on over to the left, straight through, and this will let us access the lower water level. And I believe this is the bottom floor of that place we just pushed the control rod into in order to uh, move the box to activate the platform from way earlier. Anyways, let's take care of this turtle. Any chests or barrels hiding up here? Sometimes the game developers like sneaking stuff like that up here, so uh, be on the lookout if you're interested in it. Nothing too much to worry about though. Before we go into the left where an elevator is, we're just gonna push on ahead in order to get at a certain something real quick. So let's just wait this slow out, I guess. There we go. Heal up and activate a chest. There's one enemy here. Yes, there is. Cool, let's take care of you. Come on. There we go. And we can hop up here in order to push this box over the edge. And before I do that, I do want to get that chest because I didn't check the second floor very much. There we go, let's grab you. And go around here. And I believe there should be a turtle around here. No, well, we used the elevator here in order to re-raise the water level from before. So you can actually explore this whole area here for a chest. Anyways, back at the task on hand, we can now pull this box, leave it, and then push it over here. And this is where the box is absolutely useless. Yes, that's right, this box is not worth anything. What you want to actually do is double jump up here in order to get at a raised magic site. Something we're not actually able to do right now because the water level is completely lowered. So I say we change that for a second. Let's crawl over here and move the water level up one notch. And then we'll move it back down a notch after we're done. So you can just skip this entire part if you're not interested in permanent upgrades. Just to let you know. Alright, now that we've raised the water level up once, we should be able to double jump over. So, there we go. Double jump over here, climb over here, up twice, and we'll be able to get at our second raised magicite. Or pocket, sorry about that. Now the reason why I say this box is so useless is because I don't think you're able to single jump across with this. I've tried many, many attempts, and I'm gonna try it a few more times on screen just to 
confirm or deny this for you guys. Oh, you can't jump over. Never mind, this box isn't useless after all. Well, that's how you get the raised magic site then. I didn't actually know how to do that for the longest time, and I apparently just found it out today, so that's pretty good. Anyways, now that we're done with that stuff, we've found all the print upgrades I could find for Rayla Sayo Pass. Let's move on ahead, so raise the water level down again. And I believe we can do this one more time since we're pushing the control rod. Yes, we can. So now we're back on progress, or the path for progress. There we are. And we're almost at the final area now. If we go through this door, what you want to do is avoid that barrel down there and prevent it from breaking. Uh, prepare a great charge attack because there's a robot up ahead. There we go. And take care of you. Love the stun ability we get after, uh, you know, firing all the attacks on it. So the nine arrows that we get. Even better that we're able to... Uh, do even more damage for stunning it, and I'm gonna uh, heal up my SP real quick, or recover SP, just because I'm running a little low, and I don't think it'll be able to save me long enough before my next level up, so we're gonna do this right now, there we are. Now there's a move on each side of the barrel, and I wanna take care of these guys first before actually grabbing it, and this will let us move on to another note in a second. There you are. Ow. Got a little too close there. Alright, let's take care of this new. Alright. And if we move over here, there's a turtle enemy over here. Or a moo, never mind. More moos for everyone. Sure. Right, this area here is not very useful. If you double jump, you can see that there's a target up there. You're not going to miss anything, so don't worry about that for now. Instead, after clearing all the enemies and protecting your barrel, let's grab the barrel and put it over the switch here so we can get on through. All right. Now then, we're at the basically the final map where there's one key submerged underwater, and there's another stuff going on back there which we can't get at just yet, so let's climb up the staircase and do our objective. Cool, let's take care of you, Mr. Thunderbomb, or Miss Thunderbomb. Ugh, you have a face that is not very human, I must admit. There we go. Take care of you, and there are a few robots up ahead, so... Prepare a bunch of great charges just in case. I believe there's one right here. Yes, there is. Let's get that stun damage. Ooh, we managed to get hit, which is unfortunate, but it's gonna die fairly quickly. There we go. Let's grab this barrel over here. Put it right here. Push this box down here. So that's one of the two boxes we need to push in. Just jump right on over here, and we'll be able to do with a bunch more thunder bombs, which we're gonna take out real quick. Ooh, that's gonna hit me. I don't feel like getting stunned. See ya later. I'm gonna avoid death today once more. There we go. Get our healing and then take care of the second guy. As you can see, there's no rock thing that we need to plug up over here since this whole place is fairly well managed in the past. Don't know how many years that is though. Probably within one lifespan though because of story mode. Breaking these two barrels will allow us to get at two scrolls and then we can push in the second box. So that's what we're going to do. Alrighty. Now let's go back and in order to get at the key we want, we can hop over here onto this platform, which will move us and give us enough space over here to drop down for the key. So don't worry about that. And before I go insert this key into the keyhole, I want to break the sparrow just for some free stuff. And what we're going to get out of the sparrow is... A few cure magicites, which I'll take because I'm not at max yet. Let's just drop right off here and break this barrel while we're at it. And grab a few potions. Now I'm going to insert this key first, but there are two robots here. Very dangerous since they're both able to attack you repeatedly. And since they have the same moveset, they, have the, they often do the exact same thing. So you got to be very careful with them. Or worry about missiles, which have amazing knockback. Kind of a pain as they all like to combo you and completely murder you. Fantastic. That was just a game over. All right, well, there's no worries because if you remember the checkpoint we had, it'll allow us to take the elevator all the way to the bottom. So even though we have a mishap, we can just ride the elevator all the way to the bottom. And don't worry because there's a second checkpoint soon that we can get at, so... They have been preparing for this area in Rayla Sayel Pass, and in the Crystal Temple for the next video, we'll also have two checkpoints to worry about. Maybe even three. 
Probably just two though. I haven't actually completely taken care of Crystal Temple yet, so that's going to be a fairly exciting for both of us. Now then, if this is if the door is right here, that means we've gone to the floor that I'm looking for. Yes it is, alright. Let's hop right on out. And it looks like I'm gonna need to get the barrel again, which is fine. Small little mistakes, no worries. I'm going to kill those two robots and then actually move on. Simply because I don't like leaving those things behind and I want to get a little bit of revenge on them. The key is still in there so don't worry about it. And let's just go in here and take care of you. Oh, I didn't get the stun. Oh, jeez, I'm in between them. Okay, let's just back up here for a second and I think I want to use my tribal abilities if at all possible. So uh, please don't come down here, mister. Yeah, just stay right up there. I prefer to take this safe and not get another game over. Come on! Yeah, these guys are fairly meaty or bulky or metallic-y because they're giant electrical plugs, but whatever. That's one, and let's go for the second one. Prepare a charge attack just because. I want to end this fight fairly quickly. There we go. And you won't be able to get your laser shot on me. Alright, now that we've gotten everything cleared out from here, let's go after the second key, which is submerged underwater. And what we want to do is go back to the second floor, and enter the doorway that's been hanging out here. Now before we do anything, if we move over to this left side, you'll notice that there's the target, and this is basically just a checkpoint system. Which is why you didn't have to worry about it. Let's wander around here and charge up attack, take care of you, give me a level up please. Looks like we're not getting that anytime soon, so I'm gonna recover my SP some more. Don't mind me. There you go, let's do another one for good measure. There we are. Alright, let's move on over to this right side, and the platform here is stationary in order to differentiate it from the previous area which looked very similar. Crack this chest open for a gemstone and move on in. Now, here's where we need to use another one of those electrical magicite in the water kind of thing to activate it. There we are. And this one is temporary. No, this one's not temporary. And will actually be permanent. So don't worry about that. Let's push the control rod in. And this will activate another water lowering system. And that will give us our second checkpoint. Which I was so, so close to, unfortunately. Let's push this box in here in case you ever want to get back up. Which there is really no reason for you to ever go back up there. But for the sake of completion, we will push it in. And we finally arrive at our second key. There we go. Now I'm gonna run in here, stick the key in, and immediately go into that door so I don't have to worry about fighting any bosses. And you're gonna hit me anyways, thank you. Goodbye. Now an interesting note is that if you stick on this wall, you can actually just fall into the water without triggering the fight scene. But that's not what we're looking for because we're going for the rematch in the past. I do say it's Selkie. So Versus Giant Fish. He's back in the past and he's real mad. Good thing we have an electrical switch to use in order to water lower the water levels. There we go. And you'll also notice his horn is back together. And that's because it hasn't been bashed in yet. But we're about to uh, predict the future by completing the past. There we go, come on. Anyways, the fish will do a new set of attack moves when underwater, or rather, when the water level is lowered. But it's still basically the same old fish. Nothing too much to worry about. If you had a tough time with the previous fish, this one should be ever so slightly easier. But uh, it has a tendency of using this bubble attack very often. And this attack is fairly effective on people, so uh, definitely be careful. Also avoid getting trapped in the corner because that's how you get comboed easily by this fish. We're gonna stay around the center, I'm gonna take it safely because I don't feel like getting another game over and I'm a little bit low on magicites right now. So we may have to activate this electrical switch two or three times because this one is a temporary one. But uh, hopefully we can get a little bit of damage in before uh, the water level increases again. And it looks like we're gonna get about like a 40%, that's not too bad. Let's hop right on off here and activate the switch right away since I don't like doing these uh, water levels. The fights with the water activated is a little bit annoying because you have a tendency of drowning and that just adds to the list of hazards in here besides, you know, giant angry fish. So, 
Let's take care of you as fast as possible. After all, we still have an entire video to go through. Uh, generally, this video's gone fairly fast though besides my game over, so I'm kind of pleased with it. Please don't hurt me, Bubble. Okay, you're gonna hurt me really badly. And I'm gonna get knocked into the water. I'm gonna heal right away. Please don't hit me. Ah! There we go. <laughs> Just a little bit of caution there. So far, so good. It's almost dead. We may have to activate another electrical switch, but... Uh, nothing too much to worry about. If the monster, if the fish is really low on health, I'll just fight it and finish it off on land. Speaking of on land, like we're not on land right now. This, this whole using any description words in this fight does not really make sense here. Oh, and it looks like the water level is rising again. Alright. Knock me into the water. Gonna press B right away so I don't accidentally fall flat on my face. And I guess we'll finish you off above water after all. Just like the previous fight, so get over here, mister. Fish. I am falling into the water a little bit more than I should be. Come on. Alright, alright, come on. Eh, not enough. Hello. Whoops, that was not what I wanted to do. There we go, alright. Now it's done. And the water level will once again lower for you. There we go. The platform will automatically move towards the center where uh, the leaving point is, so if you wonder why this platform is suddenly jiggling about, that's probably the reason. Let's grab all we can and leave the area. Now, do I want to do another speed run of this? Let's not. I'm gonna go ahead to Rabinantera first, simply because we only have 5 Kira Magicite, so I used quite a few in that fight. Now, if we go to the bottom area, the dog has been replaced with this magician here. Hello, Miss Yuke. Hmm, the view from here is the same as it has been for years. Perhaps it was nothing but a dream after all. Hmm? Oh, hello there. You must be an adventurer. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I was out of town for a while and I was just recalling the strangest dream I had during my trip. The world was shrouded in a cloud of poison called Miasma, and the people suffered greatly from it. To venture anywhere beyond the reach of the crystal's light meant certain death. It was obviously not the reality I knew, yet there was something terribly real about this dream. It could very well have been a dream, but it also feels like it could have been real. Or perhaps I had momentarily wandered into another world without knowing it. Alright. Well, this Yuke right here is basically referencing the actual Crystal Chronicles series. So in Ring of Fates, oh sorry about that, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, there is a world completely shrouded in a miasma. Unlike this world, which is the optimal world, thanks to Yuri and Chalinka. So we don't have to worry about that here. But in the other case, uh, there is in fact a post-apocalyptic story going on in Crystal Chronicles, which is actually really amazing, which is why I don't know why all the spin-offs now are just like base building games. Whatever. Anyways, I'm pretty sure we talked to you already, so let's talk to the Neo Loti hanging out right here. And I'm gonna do something interesting here. The fresh, breathe the fresh air. Rabina Terra is the best. I've been everywhere in, to get away from monsters, but all the towns were pretty much the same. This town is the best, and it's all thanks to King Coca. Everyone had deserted this town because of the monsters, but just look at how it's bustling again. Those eyes, that beard, they're the features of a truly robust and intelligent monarch. I bet anyone who stood in the king's dignified presence would simply be paralyzed with awe and admir admiration. Maybe I should try to do, try one of those quests so I could get near the king. Yes, holding my nose while reading is kind of difficult. Alright, how about you two? The nightmares I had during my trip are only a distant memory now. I pray nothing that horrific ever happens to me again. And the town finally feels like everything's back to normal. A lot of people went on lengthy trips. I wish I had done that too. Oh well. Can't always do everything around here, so let's move on around. And... What we're going to do is basically circle all around here. Now, we're doing the Crystal Temple next, which is why this priest has stepped aside instead of telling us about his Grand Santino cleaning or whatever. Let's talk to him. What are we going to make of it? Just as we are about to finish Centennial cleaning, monsters emerge. 
But we must give thanks. It is on their account the cleaning was called off. The recent rise in the monster population brought our cleaning efforts to a swift conclusion. A plague upon those filthy beasts. If they sully that pristine temple, I'll mop the floor with their hides. So, as you can tell, a lot of foreshadowing going on about memories and this guy here freaking out. And of course, whenever you wander around here, you gotta see this guy's happy grin, which we're going to be able to uh, beat in in the next video. Now, this might be all the dialogue we've finished here, but you might be wondering, where's that black cat and where's that dog from the earlier episodes? Well, it looks like they've joined forces to create the ultimate comedy trio, which can only be viewed by Selkies. Let's take a look. Hiya, thanks for coming. We are the comedy trio called the Meow Ruffs. Glad you could make it. Word on the street is quests are the thing in the human world. Oh yeah, I heard of those. They're one of those tribes. Those are Clavats. Jeez, you only got the last two letters right. Nah, see, if you do these, you get something from the king. Oh, oh, I get it, yeah. You mean, uh, uh, reward? Oh, you're just one letter off. You get a reward, you moron, not an edit. You're mucking up our whole routine. We're gonna have to let you go. Okay, time to get ya, time to let you go, folks. You've been a great audience. Bye. We stunk up the place. Kitty litter in your food bowl, bad. Made me so sick I could cough up a furball the size of a magicite. I heard some people laughing. The only Selkies in the audience, am I right, guys? Yeah, but not many, and we never, and never in the right places. We're finished. We can't let the road to stardom end here, not for the Meow Wows. Heh, <laughs> you mean the Meow Ruffs or the Meow Bow Wows, either way. Wait a minute. Meow Wows? No room for me on the, on the stardom road. Okay, we'll make room. Wouldn't want to make ya an outcast. Of course, the road to stardom might make ya roadkill. Hey, that's worse. I can't handle the pressure. Sorry, but I quit. Really? Thank you so much. For, for all your help, that is. So, so, what you think? Not much I know, but can we work with it? <laughs> Even switching around who plays the straight man flopped. Maybe it is time we pack it in. We can't do any better. Our real problem is balance. Two cats and a dog just ain't right. Uh huh? Think about it. Two cats have a what you call a symmetry, right? Yeah, now that you mention it. And we got the cute factor, huh? What? That's it? I'm out? Ugh. You got nine lives, but no soul. You guys, you got no humanity! Not a trace, we're cats. Please, I'm begging y'all on all fours, just don't fire me. I'll do whatever you say. Relax, bunny. You're taking things too doggone seriously, you gotta lighten up. Really? You mean it? So I can stay? Oh, of course, right, partner? Yeah, honest to gods, the act ain't the same without ya. Thanks, thanks guys, I'm so relieved. We need a droopy guy like you around to make us look adorable. Hey, mama says I'm cute. So, <laughs> there you go with their trio. What else do you guys have to say? Uh, those lousy cats will be a claw in my side forever. Oh, come on. Uh, doesn't anybody in this town get our unique brand of humor? Maybe try Soki Village, this place is pretty... Multicultural, how about you? I gotta tell ya, this working with dogs is strictly for the birds. Alright, well, there we go. I don't even know if holding my nose does any effect to my voice. I think it does. I've seen Eminem do it, so obviously it's gonna work for me. Anyways, now that we're done with that stuff, let us go buy things. So, let's talk to you. And, actually, we're not going to buy any... You know what, let's buy materials, and we're not gonna craft anything yet. Just because I want to stock up on a few things here and there. So, that's a few things here. Alright, let's go into the scrolls and buy something that can refine the gemstones for us, if there are any. Refine Mephrel, nothing I'm really interested in here, come on. Oh, refine Onyx, I mean Amethyst. That's something I need, and no Ruby, alright. 
cool. And let's talk to the Mogmart. Money greases the corporate cogs. It's meant to be spent, so use it. Welcome to the magnificent Mogmart. Right on. Let's buy some permanent upgrades real quick, and then we'll get match sites to do our quick speed run through. Come back here, uh, buy a few more things, craft our equipment, do our quest, and call it a day. Just a little bit longer. Not doing too much to worry about. Great. Now then, while we're busy doing this, I am going to ask you viewers a favor. I don't actually know how many people stay to watch these videos. I know I get views, but I don't know if anyone stays. If you're watching this video and you're at 35 minutes right now, please do me a favor and leave a comment. I'm just curious about... Well, I've never done that before. <laughs> Great! There you go, that's a sign from... the game. <laughs> if you've watched this far, please leave a comment. Uh, something about falling maybe? I don't know. I'm curious about how many people actually watch videos this far in. I know eventually people will watch the whole thing as a walkthrough, but... I'm curious about what actually happens right now, because I get a consistent 20 views, so... I really am curious about who's watching the whole thing, so... I would appreciate it. Of course, I'm still going to make these videos regardless if people do or do not watch it. Anyways, we've bought our Kira Magicite, so let's go right on into Rayla Sayo Past and get back to our speedrun. Oh, and don't tell anyone about the, that little comment I just made there, just in case just in case no one actually watches this. <laughs> Alright, let's get straight on through. We don't have to worry about going around the place, and we're gonna move in here right away. Take care of two moves. We're gonna go for this guy first. Oh, you're still alive. There we go. Cross on over here. Take care of you as well. There we go. While you're dying, I'll be busy charging up my super attack. There we go, and it looks like I missed quite a few of them, which is unfortunate, because I could have finished this robot a lot faster with the charge attack, even though I technically waited a bit more. Great. Let's take care of the turtle that's up ahead. There you are. Whoops. Don't knock me off, please. The spinning attack has a tendency of kicking you off everywhere, and this is uh, a very dangerous attack. It has a tendency of knocking you off and ruining things. If you manage to get the fire match sites near the edge, you can actually just chuck one off right before the cutscene shows up. Just so you can activate the whole thing in time, and it looks like that one's not gonna activate, so... We'll just use this magic site here, no worries. Great. Going through here, we won't have to check the left and right sides, and if I can land this properly, which I cannot... There we go, that's fine. By the way, activate. Uh, perf I prefer to actually, like, just hit the balloon while I'm dropping down, but that doesn't matter. Anyways, you don't actually have to push this box in even if you fall off, and instead of waiting for this platform to rise, we can actually jump on top of the little switch there, and then do a quick double jump to get across without waiting for that water. Great. Now that we've pushed this platform or uh, control rod in, we can lower the water level once, and now we're about to skip a huge amount of Rayla Sayel Pass, so... Watch this part carefully, because this, this is where things get real, real amazing. You see, even though we're crossing over to this right side and hopping on this box, we can actually double jump straight across and wait for this platform here. Get across, we don't actually have to kill you, so I'm not gonna. Push this control rod in, and there we go, avoid the robot, and the water level has been lowered twice automatically. So we won't have to worry about going in and out and doing all those other control rod level lowering sh shenanigans. Let's cross straight on through and head off to the area we can progress with. And that just skipped us a good two or three control rods, maybe an elevator ride, pretty good overall. Let's go around here and head to the elevator, I believe, and we can just go straight down. There we go. Now then, what's our next step? Because I believe there's a doorway here, or we're going for the doorway here. Oh, we're going for the doorway here. We're doing this a, a, a lot quicker than I expected, actually. Alright. Well, instead of killing the creatures and playing it safe, we're just gonna grab this barrel right away and hit the switch with it. And you don't really have to worry about the monsters breaking the barrel. So that's pretty easy. Now, some people like to do this thing out of order by going up here and then immediately going for the switch on the side. I'm not a fan of that, so I'll be going for it this way by grabbing this first switch, putting it in, and then going all the way around back again to go for my second floor switch. So this is up to you. Uh, I personally think my method is faster, but I've never actually timed it, so I don't really know. That's completely up to you. Of course, we can't double jump right off this, because we are Selkies. Yay! Alright, let's do another quick double jump here, straight through, and... 
let's go for our next objective, which is just crossing right on over here. Don't have to worry about any moving platforms now. And now it's all left to this electrical switch. There we go. Put this in here. Wait for it. Please hit. There we go. Wait for the water level to lower. Jump straight down. Push the control rod in. Easy peasy. So far so good. Water level lowers once more. And you know what? I'm going to just touch, just nudge this checkpoint just in case uh, I accidentally get myself killed by a giant fish. Because uh, that has a tendency of happening in my test recordings and my test plays. So that's a something to do preemptively. That thing fell on me. That's not nice. All right, come on. Push you against the corner. There we go. Usually the corner is better just so we align it on two corners. And the door finally opens so we can go straight on through and fight the boss. Which we're going to skip the cutscene for. Even though we're doing a speed run thing, I still prefer to lower the water level just so there's a hazard removed. I personally find it a lot easier to fight with the water lowered just so I don't immediately get teleported whenever I fall off. So I prefer doing that. It takes up a little bit of extra time. If you're really good at standing on this fish, you might want to avoid lowering the water level, but I personally think it's for the best. Of course, these bubbles and oh god, that might kill me. Oh, that might kill me a lot. Oh, that's not going to kill me. Not today. I avoid death. Step on it. Step on it quick. We're going to try to get this fish destroyed as fast as possible. Heal up. Quick. All right. All the way around. Back on top. We're doing great damage so far. Like, what is that? 35%? I don't really know. I'm not good at eyeballing things. Let's keep it up. All right. I, 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 I eyeball that to like a 50. Okay. I really don't want to be on this fish at 108 health. Heal up. Okay. Yeah. You keep sucking that air in. I'm going to hop on your horn here. Come on. Mm. Just go down. Just go down, fish. It's easier this way. <laughs> All right. Let's heal up. Take it easy. Great. Oh. And double jump right back over here. Activate this thing once more. Wonderful. Please hit. Oh, it looks like it's gonna. All right. Nothing to worry about there. I may have sounded... I may have sound... Oh, is sounded even a word? I may have sound a little bit strange earlier, and that's because I just turned my head from the mic. It's pretty interesting, because I can do stuff like this, where it makes it sound like I'm talking on the other side of the room. Also, it's a probably a terrible idea to turn my head while I'm doing a let's play against a boss. So let's just stop that nonsense real quick and focus on the task at hand. Which is uh, turning a giant fish into some sashimi. I don't actually know the difference between sashimi and teriyaki, or... No, not teriyaki, or sushi. I think sashima's just the fish, and sushi's with the rice, I, I don't really know. Alright, at this rate, we're gonna have to, like, lower the fucking water level again. Eh, we'll be fine. Yeah! There you go. Alrighty. Got it, and as you can see, the platform is busy trying to, like, jiggle its way back to the center. And, oh, jeez, some of the items are nearby. Hopefully we don't accidentally step on the portal. Let's grab all this. There we go. Alrighty, we're done. Let's head back to Ravenna Tehran. I wanna hit up the Mogmart first. Then we're gonna go buy some materials from Chappie. And then we'll just buy the equipment we're actually going to use. And craft some, of course. So let's get a few more HP boost. Always nice. I'm one level... I'm really close to a level up, so... Hopefully the quest I do will get me a level up. Maybe we'll do a cow quest or something. Actually, I think I did that last time. Hmm. Alright, well, we'll figure something out. I'm not doing switches, though. Mm -mm, switches are hard. I'm not good at puzzles. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, anything else here? No? All right, thank you very much. Let's go over to Chappie and see what we can buy here. Uh, let's start with materials first, simply because they're easier to pick up on. Ruby, and that's pretty much it. Scrolls, I'm just going to do a quick drive-by here. Anything interesting looking? And it doesn't seem... Oh, wait. There we go. I wanted this refined amethyst. And was there a refined ruby up here? No, there wasn't. Okay, that's basically it. Cool. Let's craft some things, shall we? Sort by weapons first. And I guess we'll make a Mithril weapon, since this is the new weapon we're supposed to get. Actually, let's craft our gemstones first. Just in case, because I may want to go for a replacement master's weapon. And that's because I'm looking for something with fast charge rather than tribal secrets. 
Now we have Tribal Secrets 3 right now, and that makes it so we don't have to use as much mana. But I'm looking for Fast Charge so I can get those uh, attacks off quickly. But let's make the Mithril Weapon for just for the sake of making one. There we go, nice Mithril Weapon. Uh, definitely will outclass us in terms of straight up damage, so if you're looking for pure damage, which usually I'm up for, uh, go for that. But otherwise, I think I'm gonna go for a fast charge, please. This one's actually better. Huh, did I not make a Huntress Bow yet? Well, whatever. Alright, let's see here. Let's make another- put another Amethyst in here. Please give me fast charge. I got fast charge! Sweet, that's exactly what I wanted, so we won't be- uh, using a Mithril weapon, unfortunately. Anything new here? We got a black headband and a Lamia's Allure. I've never seen this before. What is this? It's a Lamia hair clip. All right, so that's like a snake lady, right? I only know this because people are suddenly really into monster girls and anime and stuff, so... Ugh. No thanks. And we can make a black outfit. So this is the ninja set, and I think I'm gonna make those. So what do we need here? We need some iron silk. Okay, so... Steel cloth. Perfect. I think we have just enough to make. Let's do this. Alright, that's one. And let's... That's two. Great. Alright, let's make this suit, shall we? So, up here, where's that... Black headband? There it is. And what do we want to put on this thing? Oh, jeez. We don't get anything new out of this. Alright, well, let's put a ruby here. Let's go for some attack. What do we get? Ninja headgear with absolutely useless stuff. Oh, it's better than the uh, flower barrets, to be honest, so I'll take it. There- oh. Really? It's just- alright, well, whatever. I'm sure there's something else back there, whatever. Let's make the Lamia's alert, just so we can show that off-screen later. Don't equip that. And the scary mask, which is really scary, so I'm glad I don't have to wear this. I actually wore this in my test playthrough because I couldn't get the Lamia's hair clip. Now then, now for the black outfit, let's make you. And we'll put a another ruby on you, sure, why not? And we'll get the ninja getup, which is, once again, more useless stuff. At least we got a bunch of defense, and we are pretty stylish right now. Now we can't make the buccaneer suit yet, because we don't get mithril silk yet. And I know there's mithril harness stuff here, but we're actually just going to buy it from the store, so... That's what we're gonna do there. Do we have anything else we can get at? Bad rebirths? Rebirth? Security? Um... No, that seems just about it. I can make some B specs, but I don't think I really need to do this. Let's just make one so I can show the item on screen. There we go. And I guess that's about it. Great. Let's go buy the Mifro suit. And you know what? Since this episode's only 47 minutes, I'm actually gonna sell all the old stuff we have as well. So let's buy this Mithril Helm. Now, if you're curious about what it looks like, but you don't want to stay to the very, very end of this video, it's basically a reskin of the Iron Armor. So, not missing out on very much. It's great for defense, but otherwise, it's kind of lackluster, to be honest. So I'm not a big fan of it. So let's sell this yellow outfit. Oh, we're really low on money, so this is a good time to be doing this. Let's just sell that. The weird red and blue habits that I had to make for my silly uh, post video, which was really strange. Martial arts key. Yep, we don't need this. There we go. So just the mithril armor for that. And we have this, the scary mask, which I know for a fact is by itself, I believe. The Lamia's hair clip, I'm not too sure. We have the princess's tea area, which I'm saving for something. Okay. Flame salad and flower barrets. And there we go. So that's pretty much it for that, right? Jeez, four hats? Alright, I really gotta figure something out with that. And all the other weapons that I don't need, which I'll sell right now. So, thank you for your patience. I'm sorry that I'm doing this on screen right now, but... Frankly, the moment I turn off this recording thing, I'm gonna be too unmotivated to do this. Because I'll be like, ah, uh, I need to edit things, but nah, I don't feel like doing that. I'll worry about that later. Anyways, uh, besides the silly black hairband in the back, hairpin... We get a nice little ninja setup. To be honest, it looks like a cross between uh, the habits, the red and blue novice habits, and just straight up ninja clothing, so... Maybe it's a bit of a reskin. It's not bad. I mean, the whole, like, uh, bust kind of thing kind of fits, like, 
Japan's idea of ninjas, I guess. But then again, that also fits Japan's idea of priests, so... Whatever, let's go do our quests. On the bright side, we get to be cool ninja sneaking into the Crystal Temple next video. Hello, King Koka. Glad you can make it. Please avail yourself to our quest to your heart's content. That's a very strange sentence you just said. I am not doing switches galore. Never, ever, ever. I've done it before, and it's a bad time. We've already done area 151, I presume, or something. Let's see here. Gladiators. Wait, really? Have we not done... Have we not done our area 150? Oh, well, there we go. 151 and 50. Okay, so we've done this twice. It was in the uh, last episode, so. Oh, I really don't want to do switch. Oh, I'm just going to do cats. I'm going to do cats. I don't like the switches thing. You know, I'll save that for the Crystal Temple when the episode is going to be forever, like, two hours long or something. Because it's going to be ten minutes of me wasting time. I wish I knew what made our castle kitties run away from home. I showered them with generous, genera showered them generously with love and affection at every turn. I would pet each one daily. I even let them sleep in my bed. I don't know what more I could have done. When they get back, I'll treat them better than ever. I beg you, bring my kitties home. Maybe you want me to like talk to them. I'm I'm a selkie. I can I can do. All right, cool. Well, we got a nice blue and green bow now instead of a big bright pink one. That's kind of neat. Uh, what, what, what is this? What is that? Okay. What? What the? F what is this? Okay, I don't care. What? I, I don't know what this is. I. Why is it switches galore? No. What? What is? What is ha? No. No, I've never done this before. I've never done this quest before. What is happening? What is this? Why is the switches galore? No, I purposely avoided you. Ah, what is this? I'm so confused. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is this? Ah, oh, what is that? Oh. Oh, I am not ready for any of this. I've never seen those green platforms before. What is that? Oh, what? What? Oh my god. What? What is this? What is any of this? I... I don't understand any of this. What's with this map? I've never done this before. Great. Well, this is going to clearly... I am not a ninja. Alright, you know what? Just done with your nonsense. God damn it. Where... Ah, oh, I have to go all the way back. Right. I don't like water. Have, you, have I mentioned this before? I drown myself every single time. Uh, it, it bothers me. It's an obstacle. It's annoying. I, <sighs> I'm not ready for this. I'm just not ready for this. No. Oh, why are you here? Okay. Well, whatever. I'll use my cool speed running ta speed running tactics, so to say, to get this done. Okay. What is that? I got another cat for that. Okay. Sure, come with me, little kitty man. Why- why are you here? <laughs> what is this place? What are you doing? Why is this- Oh, I have to go downwards. There's a st stupid platform down there. Okay, whatever. I would throw you into the spikes because I hate cats. I really do. Just stay on my head, okay? Come on. There we go. Pick you up, drop you down, over a route. Mmm, you are- you are not making me a happy camper. Thank you. Now then, how do I get at the black cats? Oh, I r I've never done this before. As a kid, when I've played Ring of Fates, I've always done the tough cookies and stuff. So, I, I, I don't know what this is. Do, do I just keep switching this? Do I just like keep hitting this? What is this? What am I supposed to do? Are there blocks I need to put down for this? What? What? I hit this? Okay, and maybe I go back here? No? Okay. Um, listen, right now it feels like I have four buttons and none of them do anything, <laughs> so... Okay, well, I need to get at something that holds these buttons down or something. Or just like, maybe, is that a combination? 
This is a combination lock. Like this. This. And this. There we go. Alright, I figured out one of them. I figured out one of them. Okay, so far so good. Alright, drop you down real quick just so you don't spaz out. Mr. Kitty. Miss Kitty. Black Kitty. Come here, you. Alright. Around and around. Don't, don't do anything weird. Get over here. Okay, there we go. We're good, we're good. We're doing fine. We're doing fine. I'm running out of time, but we're doing fine. Okay, that's one more cat. Now then, for the other, like, thing that we had to do. What is that? What does that mean? Do I have to hit it from... Do I have to push you? What, what... What, what do I... What do I do with you? Do I hit you and step on you? What... What is this? Why are you doing this to me? No, I'm not ready for this. Do I... Okay, I got it, I got it. Supercharger cack. Come to my rescue. No! I don't... Do... Do I... Do... Uh, what do I... What do I do? I don't... What do you do with switches? Do I... I don't... Mm, 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 this isn't sitting well with me. I don't know what's going on. Really? Is this what's going to stop me? The stupid platform here doing its thing? Is there like some sort of... Delayed thing here? Like... What am I missing? Do I have to... Do I... Do I have to touch it? Rub up against it? Push it? Do I have to glitch my way in here? What is happening? I don't understand these blocks. I thought these... Whatever. I don't fucking... I don't even care right now. Okay, whatever. We got the cat. Mm, I'm cussing like... I'm cussing like a sailor. I don't care. I'm done. Mm -hmm, mm, nope. Nope. Hate cats. Hate cats so much. Get over here. Don't you dare go into that spike pit. Ah, oh, we've already wasted so much time on you. You little runt. Ugh. Making me curse like a sailor, you son of a gun. Alright, there we go. Stage complete. Stage two. We are not gonna have enough time for this, unless they give me more time. Nope, we are not gonna have enough time for this. I can't. Why are you, why is switches galore here? I I I I, I test I tested test I don't I, I don't know what to say. I, okay, apparently killing enemies involves more cats. We're not getting this done. I don't care how ninja I am. I can't do this. I don't... I, nope. Nope. You know what? I, these cats can stay here. I don't like cats. Dogs are better. Dogs are better. Fight me. I'm not doing this. Remove the barriers blocking cats by eliminating enemies around. Yeah, don't even talk. I didn't have enough time. I'll just do firefighters from now on. Quit the quest. Oh well. At least we get to see some coca dialogue about game overs. It looks as though you have failed. Hey, cheer up, buddy. These things happen in life. Just come back and try again. Thanks, coca. I'm not gonna try white cats, black cats ever again. Or switches galore. Those things have both scarred me. Why are there switches everywhere? Why? Why switches galore? I didn't. I didn't want to do. <laughs> no. <sighs> That's a great way to end a video. Thank you for and <laughs> I'm flabbergasted, frankly, that 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 just happened. Thank you for watching this episode of Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles: Ring of Fates. In the next one, we take on the final temple, the Crystal Temple. See you then.